Dear students, now we will solve an example of the Smith-Waterman algorithm. You already know that exons in the DNA sequences are coding regions and they code proteins and therefore are very important. Nature conserves these sequences and therefore if you have two DNA sequences with exons in them, there is a high chance that they have a very nice alignment. Similarly, for the functional domains in proteins, they are highly conserved as well because they do specific functions in the biological systems. So, if you have two protein sequences with the same domain, then there is a high chance that the two sequences will align very nicely. So, both of these requirements on finding exons and functional domains within nucleotides and proteins can be fulfilled by employing the local alignment strategy. So to perform local alignments, we had the Smith-Waterman algorithm and we'll see how to use the algorithm. So to start with, if you have two sequences, then you simply place them on top and on the left side. And you assign a match, mismatch and gap penalty for space or a gap and then you utilize the scheme to calculate Cij if you remember in the needleman Munch algorithm you only had the first three but in the Smith-Waterman algorithm you introduced a zero here as well and you have to compute the maximum of these four towards computing Cij so as I just mentioned, the difference between needleman Wunsch and Smith-Waterman is that zero is also placed in the relationship here. Okay, so to start with, you initialize the first column with zeros and the first row with zeros as well. I would like to remind you here that in the needleman Wunsch algorithm, these two were initialized by minus i multiplied by the gap penalty which in this case is minus 5 as well as minus j multiplied by the gap penalty. So here we are not going to use the Needleman Wunsch scheme rather we are going to initialize them by simple zeros. This is very important please remember this so you compute each position in the matrix. So I'll just give you an example. So let's try to compute this one. So C matches with a C. So the match is plus 1. So the diagonal element will be 0 plus 1. That is equal to 1. The top will be 0 minus 5. Minus 5 is the gap penalty. And the left will also be 0 minus 5 so this will be minus 5 this will be minus 5 as well and this will be 1 so from 0 1 minus 5 and minus 5 you have to take the maximum and of course 1 is selected and put here so 0, remember, where does this 0 come from? From the addition in the computation of Cij relationship, as I showed you in the previous slide. So once you have computed the entire matrix, the next thing that you need to do is find the highest scores. So in this case, the highest scores are 2 and they can be found at these positions. So you, as you can see from visual inspection of this matrix, that there is no position that has a value greater than 2. Remember that in the needleman Wunsch algorithm, we started by looking at this position. But we are not going to do that here, as this is going to be a local alignment, and we are going to just select the highest score anywhere in the matrix. So here you have 2, 2, 2, and another 2. So by selecting these, highest score positions, you are going to start a traceback. So the traceback 
will go until you reach a zero here here so essentially what this tells you is that there are three possible alignments three possible local alignments that exist in this matrix and you can extract these alignments and write them separately so in conclusion the local alignments can be done by using the smith waterman algorithm and these are very useful in extracting the exons and functional domains in dna and protein sequences respectively more importantly during the smith waterman algorithm you should remember that the trace back starts from the maximum position maximum score position anywhere in the matrix and the trace back goes till the first zero that is encountered in the matrix so in this way the local alignments can be extracted